we're faced with only a limited amount of water falls on California. And this, this is going to be a, a fact of physics that we have to deal with. Um, the, the problems of the Delta, I, I think, um, they're, they are the biggest, most urgent problem that we have in, in the water management in California. We have a lot of the reductions in water deliveries to farmers this year will be because of the endangered species uh, in the Delta that, that are inter being interfered with by, by the pumping. Uh, this is, it is vitally important that we come together on, on the Delta issue to, to improve the reliability of water deliveries, um, not only to the, to the Bay Area as the farmers and the Tillery and, and San Joaquin Valley as well as Southern California. A tremendous part of the state relies on that single most important water source. Some other areas that I think are quite important are, are continuing to develop uh, water marketing where we have an ability to move water back and forth between uh, lower value uses and higher value uses on a flexible schedule depending upon the nature of commodity prices for crops and, and the hydrology we have to deal with. There's a, a lot more to be done, I think, in terms of conjunctive use, better managing together surface water and groundwater. Um, there'll be some occasions for surface water storage. I do not think that they will be very large in terms of the overall portfolio of water management in California, um, certainly not as much as the press uh, covers. Um, but we'll see a lot more uh, emphasis on, on groundwater uh, management, uh, water marketing, and, and the Delta in particular. Uh, certainly, water conservation has been mentioned a few times. That's certainly quite important, particularly, I think, in the urban sector. The agricultural sector has, has less potential in most places, although in some places it does, for water conservation. We're still about, we still need to lower the cost of desalination by about 50% to get to that point where it's, it's competitive with conventional water supplies now. Um, we can desal brackish water quite economically. In many cases, we do that with wastewater now. Um, but for, for drinking water, we can't do it. And to make it economical for farms, I think we're a long way from it. From it. This is a very interesting statistic that you quote, that 19 or 20 some percent of all energy use uh, in California comes from wa water. About 14 of that 19% is from end use of water. So that's your heating of water in your household, both for gas and electric heating of, of water. That's where most of that 19% is. It's, it's at that very decentralized end in your own home. So we hear this, this quote often that 20% of all energy use in California is related to water, but most of that is in your own home. So again, it comes back to the household where it's all very important about. Uh, some smaller percentage of that is involved in the treatment of water and the treatment of wastewater. Again, fairly local scale. Uh, and then there's a fair bit of water, of energy use involved in pumping water from, say, from the Delta all the way to Southern California, to the mountain range or two that has to be gone over. Uh, that's probably the biggest energy use involved in the large scale, regional, interregional. Uh, movement of water, but it's only a percentage or two, I think, of the total.